And we're back. Yeah. 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 Look, we want a battle, guys. We're doing it. So we're still in this damn cave. Still. And I've noticed something. Yup. What's that? RPGs. They don't. When it comes to numbers, they don't really make sense. Case in point. Um, before this, I won that battle. Mm -hmm. I. You did. You attacked the enemy for two damage. Damn, what happened? Listen to me. You, you, <laughs> okay. attacked the, you attacked the enemy for two damage only. And I said, damn, that's pretty low. I guess they have a very godlike physical defense. And the next turn after that, you hit, you, after the turn you did two damage, you went around and critical hit this dude for 42 damage. <laughs> so, what? What? what how? Yay, early RPG. How the fuck does critical work in this game? It might work where it like negates the defense stat of the enemy. I mean, this is a room we haven't seen before, no, right? This is, uh, where this is the lowest part. This is where we kind of died last time. Okay, so we're in the right area, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to be along. No, I said it that way. There we go. But yeah, so that makes no sense. <laughs> huh. I think this might be one of the only RP JRPGs I can think of. Do you have to go into a jail cell or like a prison in this one? Because you know, in like modern day JRPGs, that happens in every single one of them. You get imprisoned, trapped, something in True. a jail cell, some way, somehow. True. It's a it's a staple. Yep. Along with your village, either you get exiled from your village. Um, the bad guy is crazy, um, like psychotic crazy, and one of the girls on your team has really big boobs. And one of the girls on your team has really small boobs. Yep. That's not the truth. And one of those two is usually your childhood friend. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, staples and stuff. I just think it's funny, usually. I... I know we're not doing any damage to them. This yep. is I the thing that yeah. you did two damage to, and then you fucked around and crit, and it was like, oh, I'm gonna do 42 damage. <laughs> Yay, I created that one time. Hopefully it'll happen again. Mm. Mm. Oh, but I think you're about to say something. I just I don't I don't I don't hate tropes. Um I actually had an idea um that I want to implement in one of our stories. Mm -hmm. Um of a character. Oh, not a character, but a, a little um animal or something that appears every time a trope happens nice like kind of like a like a hidden signature mm -hmm. i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet um it may be an animal it may be like a little thing on, a right on the wall yeah but if i do it it's, it's gonna be some kind of thing that signifies hey you see this this is a trope because there's some tropes that you as much as i have these stories in my head that i need to put on paper mm -hmm. um as much as I have these stories, they all a trope comes in every now and then. Oh yeah, I mean, I've got the whole you just beat one of the this big bad person, and now somebody uh, over them is a hundred times stronger. Right, and they just like oh, they just come up and fucking wreck your shit. Yeah, like that happens in almost every shonen anime. You did all this work to beat this damn dude. You spent an entire season training, mm -hmm. getting beat up. Getting these Sweating new powers ten, and shit. Getting fucking trolled by your master who is godlike strong, but he's a lazy piece of shit. That always happens. 
There's a, some kind of dude that's going to teach you, and he is God most strong, but that motherfucker is either lazy, he's a pervert, or he's a combination of the two. Cough, cough, Kakashi, cough, cough. Uh, I mean, there is... <laughs> but there are a lot of those. A lot of those. Don't get me wrong, guys, I love Kakashi. He's an awesome yeah, character. Yeah, he's actually one of my favorite characters. But, I mean, and the thing is, that's not even just a trope in anime it either that happens in a lot of stuff i True. mean look say look at a harry potter series hey look to beat the big bad of this book oh look next book this guy is way stronger so now have to they have to learn new things they have to get new friends they have to you know do all this stuff to get more powerful it's it helps to show the characters grow, but it also has become a very noticeable trope in a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. Which, again, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's used a lot. And I have that trope in one of my stories. Yeah. I don't want to, but I have it. I could have hit that down wolf with 20 damage. That's pretty good. Shake the fuck out of that wolf. <laughs> yup. Got in the jugular. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Kujo ain't got shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah uh, there's there's a lot of tropes. Like, uh, what other tropes do I have in my story? I have like a, um, oh, the childhood friend trope. That's a girl. Mm -hmm. um, I had that um, because some tropes are cool to have yeah. and to mess around with. Yeah, um, that's the thing. You can have a trope and then change it up to give it its own your own spin on it too, which is nice. Um, I have the whole trope of evil bad guy wants to. Um, He's misunderstood. He doesn't want to. He just does what he does because um, he feels it's the right way for right. humanity. Shit like that. Yeah, those are tropes, but I, I do have other things that sprinkled in there to make it mm -hmm. different. And God, poison. Damn it. <laughs> Between you getting stunned and me getting poisoned, Jesus. Oh, shit. You were taking a lot of damage, dude. Yeah, for, my, for the big story that I'm working on right now, um. My biggest thing, my biggest worry that I'm going to accidentally do, because I like manga and I like shonen anime and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I'm working my ass off to make sure that I do not turn it into a main character always is the winner, main character is always going to be the strongest out of the entire group of people. Oh, my main much. character takes a lot of L's. Yeah, he takes a lot of wins, but he it, takes a lot yeah, of I'm, I don't want. I don't want the main character to be weak and unable to do anything, but I also don't want him to be... I don't want him to fall into that, you know, white knight stereotype of character mm -hmm. either, where it's like, oh, look, these friends are about to get killed off or whatever. He's going to randomly somehow show up in the nick of time to save their asses and somehow be strong enough to win every time. Like, no, I, I want my story to be, I don't know, more, I want it just to have more to it than pretty much constantly focusing on the main character. True. I, w I want to have a good cast of characters that everybody enjoys. Which I know you can't please everybody all the time, that whole saying, but, you know, I just want a I, good cast of characters. I have a very multicultural, uh, for my main story that I have. I That's have what I'm very, trying to do, too. Very, very multicultural cast. Damn it, like, poison. There is only, like, pure, like, white person i think there's only like five of those hmm. out of like 60 some odd characters and these characters aren't like fucking bleach characters but there's a hundred thousand goddamn characters and they only are on freaky they're on the pan there you see these characters like they spent so much time hyping these characters up and you see them literally a fraction of the time that you should have seen yeah them. oh man oh my god um I'm not. I, that's something I do. I'm worried about. I hate that. Mm -hmm. I hate that in, in in manga and shonen and everything. And I understand you can't have everybody in every single thing. Right. But you can't have the you entire have group these being main. quote unquote all powerful beings such as the Shinigami and the captains and the vice captains, mm -hmm. and you see them a little bit in social society art, then they go. Yep. And then the next arc with the window happens. You see a couple of them. See, some other ones come out the woodwork, then they gone. But it's usually the same main, like, right. five or six of them that show up. It's usually a few select captains and a few of their, like, lieutenants right. or whatever. Right. And that's it. Right. Or vice captains, I suppose. Right. I want to, um, I want to make sure that we, well, my, in my main story, I want to make sure that I give everyone a healthy amount of screen, mm -hmm. or quote-unquote screen time. <sighs> and having a nice, diverse cast also helps 
make it so that more people can connect, have a better chance of connecting with the characters. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be, I'm trying to be like Overwatch. Overwatch has like people from all over the world. Yeah, I'm really glad about like more modern day stuff mm -hmm. has way more diversity in a lot of their things. Say um, Overwatch, um, and then there's also shows. Say um, Steven Universe has a nice diverse cast. True. Which I that's another reason why I love that show. True. 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 Um, there's just. I don't know. I feel like it, it's still an issue, but more people are trying and doing a good job at what they're doing. So, and again, you know, like I was saying before, you can't please everybody. There's always going to be some people who are upset about it for some reason. Because, you know, make it so that you have a cast of ten main characters and each one of them is a different uh, background, different ethnicity, and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. you're still going to get somebody to complain, oh, well, why isn't this kind of character in here? Mm -hmm. And it's like, all these characters <laughs> right and like you just said you can't not every character can always have you know 100 percent screen time or something like that you need to figure out a way to pad it out to explain things uh and also the more main characters you have if you're trying to make something good that means that you're also worrying about things such as um character development and growth and things like that and if you have, say, 20 main characters, you're not going to have enough time to do character growth for all those characters. Not easily, at least. Oh, there's always like that, Mr. Key. Oh, fuck me. Did you go all the way to the right? Are you, any of us poisoned? No. Okay, okay. I couldn't remember if I was still poisoned after that last one. But, I mean, that's also a cool thing, though. You know, we have, we have a very creative group of friends. Sure. Which is really nice because we're able to bounce ideas off of each other and we're able to help each other with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I suggest to anybody who's watching, if you have an idea, a thought... Oh my god, you just hit 452 ooh, damage. I like that. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, if you have an idea or something artistic or something you just want to create, go for it. Talk to you if you have... A group of friends that you want to suggest ideas to do it get your ideas out there because you never know unless you try and see what happens with it true now i'm personally horrible about procrastinating or else i'd already have my story like halfway done probably just typing it out at least which i need to actually get on my get off my ass and actually start writing it again a lot of my stories are done they're just in my head i just that's I'm a very slow typer I don't know how to type very fast. Mm -hmm. And if I felt as though if I didn't know how to type very fast, I could start typing. Ooh, excuse me. At least one to two pages a day and I'll probably be done. That's what that's what I need to do. Because a couple months back, um I tried writing, um I had started writing again and I was starting up my story, like actually writing it out. Oh god, where but yeah, I had started writing up my story, and in one day, in just a few hours probably, I wrote out five pages and I told myself, okay, if I set a goal for myself, write about five pages a day, I'm good. I can, you know, I'll, I'll be getting stuff out. Guess how many pages I've written? I mean, seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny you should say that. Like, I. I think I said this, me and Jamie talked about this during the Super Mario Brothers playthrough mm -hmm. about my story that I had. But I had a story that I had wrote, written 300 pages, handwritten. And it wasn't even done. Yeah. It was nowhere close to done. And I just stopped. And I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I don't, I don't, no one, don't be like me. Don't, don't just stop. Like, even when things, agree, yeah. when things hit the fan and you got other shit going on, at least try to work on your craft, well, no matter what it is, at least an hour a day. Even if you hit writer's block, like, if you are writing, or... I'm going to go with writing just because that's what we're talking about here, but anything artistic, really. But if you are, say, writing something, you get ten pages in, and then you get hit by writer's block. Don't just stop writing. Find writing prompts or something. Make sure you're still practicing your writing because every little bit helps. And I, I speak of that from experience because I need to do that. I know I need to do that and I don't do that. And 
honestly, if I did that, I'd already be a much better writer, I feel. Mm -hmm. Because, again, it's one of those things where the more practice you do, the more effort you put into it, you have a better chance of getting better at it. Just plain and simple. So, yeah. I just... Pretty much what you were saying, I don't want to see other people not accomplish things just because... Honestly, they're like us, and they either get too busy, or get too lazy, mm -hmm. or just fall off from it for some reason. Oh, God. <laughs> Should I look up a map? Everything... Go for it, please. Everything, um, attacks first. It really does, doesn't it? Like, it's so weird. Um, FF1... It's Marsh Caves, I believe. Huh. Look up Marsh Cave, and the next thing that it suggests is map. No surprise. Okay, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Damn, Matt, you just hit for 55 damage. Your balls up. It's hitting for two. Okay, we're on basement three. Yeah, we're on the rooms. Like a lot of, a lot of small rooms. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Number five. Okay, it's gonna be hard for me just to tell you where to go, so it's number five. It's the number five room. For the crown specifically. Damn, stupid bitch. Yup. I mean, there's some other good items in there, but I feel like we just want to get out of here. But, um, and honestly, if, um, Pretty much if you are going through a rough time with trying to work on what you already like doing, such as writing or drawing or painting or whatever, um, pretty much just what we were saying, just try to push through that kind of thing. Maybe not on the direct thing that you're working on, because you might want to try and be, you might be trying to make it perfect, but... Again, just try and work on other things then, because it still gives you practice. Sorry, guys, I was balls deep in the map. Yeah, still don't know where I'm going. Because this is yeah. good for no. I I know what it says. God damn it, you're poisoned again. Okay, <laughs> God, Damat. One, two, four, five. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's what it's saying. It's saying that, like, the uh, number 10 is a boss fight. Well, like a mini boss fight. Pisco Demon. Well, we can't even get to those. The ones at the bottom? There's a lot about Mystic Key. Then how do we get the Mystic Key? We're not getting the Mystic Key. We're getting the crown. But I thought you said we couldn't get to that one because it's locked. No, that's not what I said. Number 10, and you said the ones at the bottom are locked. The ones at the very bottom locked. Oh, yeah, I wasn't saying those. Yeah, I was talking about the one that we were trying to get to. It has the 10, which means that that's a boss fight. Or a mini boss fight. Is that Pisco Demon thing? Oh, shit. Let me get his ass whooping. Okay. I believe in you. Because you are my friend. So number 6 is where I think I was just at. And I got a different item. Huh. No. I'm in this one. I'm going to go on the side six. So because you got the iron armor, right? Yeah. Let's see. So that means you got... Oh, why? Hmm. I'm still alive. Because once we get the crown, we still have to be able to make it all the way back up. Right. <laughs> it's a journey down this bitch. It's a journey all the way back up. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I'm going oh. way up. And 
Nick, if you, if, uh, Fucky, fucky, fuck, 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 fuck. That too. If any of you are interested, um, just to hear our feedback on any ideas you have, let us know in the comments section and we'll be happy to comment and let you know what we think of the ideas. Yeah. I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. I was gonna say, definitely want to reorganize that party. Black Majors are the best tanks. Fucky, does the, fucky, fuck me. Does the map work in here? Like, if you brought up the map, would it show you the map inside, or just bring up the world map? I wonder. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Seeing the gargoyles makes me continue to wish that Netflix would finally bring gargoyles on. Legit That would be an awesome thing. We did 30 damage to took. Fuck my life. Fifty one damage to sleeper. Fuck my life. Thirty Three damage, damage to you. Jeez. Fuck my life. This is not going well all of a sudden. You know what other series is that they need to put on Netflix? What other series do they need to put on Netflix? Static Shock. Let me tell you something I about miss st Static Shock. Let me tell you so something much. about me and Static Shock. I've watched <laughs> that series from start to finish three times. That sounds about right, yeah. I, I, I love that series. I love that so, so much. I just want to understand why we never got that GBA game. There was a Game Boy Advance game we were supposed to get, and we never got oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that I did actually forget about. And I remember seeing hearing about it in Electron Gamer Monthly, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Static Shock while I'm watching Static Shock. Yeah, on my What's Game better? Boy Advance. <laughs> that game never came out. <laughs> R.I.P. the dream. Right? <laughs> Oh man, it was, and the thing is, like, it was one of those things where just one day I just, you know how you're just doing something completely irrelevant, mm. like, I think I was in class, and that just, epiphany just happened to me, and I was just sitting in class and I was like, motherfucker, I never got my static shot game, <laughs> son of a bitch, this dude, this WB lied to me. Yep. They lied. They lied. They hardcore to me. lied. <laughs> Dude, but, how awesome would it be to get a static shot game now? I mean, with a similar engine to say the Batman series or something. Oh my god! Oh, I would love it. I would play the shit out of that game. <laughs> I would love. It. We were actually talking about static shot the other day about them doing like a live action show because you know we're getting Black Lightning on oh, uh, yeah. CW. Yep. Um, I really want them to do it, but I only want them to do a live action static shot. Now, hear me out, internet. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> I only want them to do a Static Shock live action series if, and I mean if, they give me Eminem as Hot Streak. <gasps> that would be oh. the freaking best. And Eminem already likes comics, and he's a rapper. He's a white guy. And, 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 and it all comes together. Oh my god, you did 95 damage. Well, it's dead. <laughs> Please die. My god! Damn. God damn it! Oh, okay, damage. We barely living. Sounds I'm down to 48 you? HP. I said 100. A hundan. <laughs> but yeah, and we were talking about who we would actually want to be. Who we actually want to be static. Hey, there we go. Um. I would want, I would sure. want, I want, the running joke is freaking um, Jaden Smith. Oh, and yeah. I, kinda, I mean, eh, eh, eh. It's I more mean, or less like a look wise thing I could maybe see it. Maybe, but maybe. I, I think, um, I don't know. Like, Michael B. Jordan is still kind of young. I would like to see him. He would be a cool status shot. Yeah. My thing is, yeah, I was going to say, would you be look? Because you say you want Eminem as Hot Streak. What? Of course he would be an older Hot Streak. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. I think that's a girl. 
No. It's a house, though. You went into a room with two treasure chests? Copper band. Wait, uh, it's below the one with the house and the other thing in it, it looks like. God damn it, I went up two! Uh, Matt, you're down to 16 health. Yep. This is about to end badly. Uh, no. I need you alive. <laughs> you actually do damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so would you just have Hot Streak as the older character, as like one of the few characters that's older, or would you have everything set at a later date and time? Kind of like put Virgil on the whole, everyone in like college instead of high school. Okay. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you still have that school vibe yeah. to it and everything. Yeah, put, put him in like a, a college uh, kind of atmosphere. Same It'd be way. a little bit more accurate to a lot of the other uh, CW shows and yeah. stuff right now because most of them are young adults and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it actually match up better. Yeah, I would like I would like him to be um, Hot Street. I would like Ildris Elba to be fucking Ebon. Oh, dude, that'd be amazing. I want Ti to be Rubber Band Man <laughs> just because he had a song also called Rubber Band Man. That would be great. Perfect reasoning. That would be that would be great. Um, who? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, who don't want to be his dad? Um, <sighs> who? That's a hard one. James Earl Jones still alive? Is he? He's still alive, baby. I. He, I know he old though. Oh, are you sure you're not talking about a granddad? <laughs> no. I mean, um, John Witherspoon doesn't have the belly to be freaking Virgil's dad. <laughs> right. But I think he would be Vir a good freaking um, Roger Hopkins as well. I think James Earl Jones is... Still alive. I think he's still alive. Yep. 86 years old. Damn. You go, James Earl Jones. You live. <laughs> Both the both pure pure evil and the embodiment of fatherhood, James Earl Jones. Yep. Damn. Wait, did you say who you wanted to be um, Static's friend? Um, Richie. That was Richie. The one, yeah, that Richie. Was the one, okay. 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 <laughs> so, okay. Hear me out. I've always liked Richie. I thought he was a cool person. I thought, even before he got turned into gear, I thought he was cool. Yeah. Spoiler alert for a show <laughs> from 2002. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, um, I'm, I'm really not, if I should heal. Oh, fuck you only got one heal. Ooh. That's hard decisions. I'll make you invisible so you don't get hit again. That might work. We're about to find out. Oh no, you're running low on spells too. Oh my god. I don't know what to suggest to you here. But okay, yeah. So you got Richie. God damn. And Sleep's no about way. to die. I have no way of resing. God damn it, that's what the whole turn is setting people up to keep you alive. Mm hmm. Hide the dead body of our friend. Oh man, that's Ooh. not, and that's a no good. Okay, everybody, drink up. Yikes. But yeah, so Richie. Okay, I think a really cool Richie would be um maybe Tom Holland. Maybe? That'd be interesting. Maybe? But he still looks so young. I know, he's so young. <laughs> like, he's so, so young. He's so young and innocent and... <sighs> I don't know, who else would get to be freaking... Andrew Garfield. You know, that was a strong second. That yeah. was a strong second. <laughs> that was the only one that just popped into my head. Maybe Andrew Garfield? I don't know. Um, 
Hmm. It's... Hmm. That's hard to decide now, yeah. Tom Holland is 21. And he looks like he's 14. <laughs> Oh, he's 21? Yep. No. Hey, man! <laughs> Back up! He's 21! He all kinds of legal! That is true. Can't argue with you there. Right! Ooh, that's 32 damage. Oh my god, token! Live! Live! God, how did that not kill it? <sighs> oh my god! Okay. So, I'm sad because we actually got close to getting the crown. And we are not in good shape anymore. Oh, just want to say how you took so much damage in a short amount of time. Fucky, 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 fuck me. We were too engaged in our conversation. We were. Well, speaking of, well, that's the end of this episode, folks. So we got a t we got a comment question of the day for you. For this one, if they were to do a live action show for a superhero series. What superhero series would you want them to do it for? And, as a follow-up, what are some of the people that you'd want, and as what characters? Let us know. Oh, God. These... <laughs> that... <laughs> like, they have that some... Oh, my God. These... They leave us alone. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, I was like, why did I heal him? And it's like, I forgot it's for everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's an everyone move. But, yeah, this is going to be it for this episode, guys. So, Remember, hopefully we don't die. Yeah, hopefully we don't die. Remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell to be a member of the V-Force. There you go. There we go. I'm in there. Like swimwear. But I don't stink like underwear. Anyway, y'all stay sexy. Why do you sexy. have to go there? Stay sexy. And I knelt and... You spread it to me! <laughs> Got deep. <laughs> and until next time, see ya. Hit it. Why gotta be all that?